Here's my 1981 Gold Star television set. Currently hooked, it up, hooked up to an RCA converter box fed via these uh, rabbit ears dipole antenna arrangement here. Um, this TV has a fairly weak CRT. Um, I'll power it up. It's scratched on the front here regardless. This thing's fairly beat up, but it, uh, wonderful digital picture, but let me find something else. This here's a, I'm in the Detroit area. Notice how the screen's green while it's black. Channel 4, I think, might be better. Yeah, they're better. It all has a slight greenish hint, and the brightness is all the way up. CRT's kind of weak, um, but I'm going to take a uh, this Heath Kit tester rejuvenator to the thing. See how it's all kind of a greenish hue? Yeah, I expect that the green gun's going to be the best of all of them. This TV's taken quite a few falls over the years. <laughs> I had it on a cheap filing cabinet for a while. This is just a standby TV, really. It's not my uh, pride in the... Uh, it's not the pride of my collection. The uh, knobs had um, busted off as soon as I got it. They were cracked, and as soon as I tried to change the channel, once they completely fell off, I don't think Gold Star now known as LG, put the highest of quality into these things. But uh, I'll take the back panel off and uh, hook up the tester. Here's the TV with the back off. Um, this will allow me to get a better look at it myself, considering uh, the phone I'm using to film actually has a uh, light on it. But here's various controls on it. Sub bright. I'm going to guess I might actually try adjusting that up a little bit. And so curiously, they actually have the horizontal hold um, controlled with a, a non-accessible one. Vertical hold, on the other hand, right here, does have a, an accessible control, which I find quite surprised for this, quite surprising for a TV of this age. Um, as you can tell, this is being from the early '80s. Has a little bit of a mix of that kind of old school style construction with something more along the lines of a black plastic crap TV uh, mixed in there. Um, arguably not as much cost cutting as was seen later on. It's not anything with modules or anything, but uh, it's still fairly interesting. There's, of course, the RF inputs. They're still connected. They unscrew from the uh, back panel, the tuner, anode of the CRT, flyback transformer, and up there some of the power supply components. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hook up the uh, tester to it and see what it measures. Though there is also a uh, screen control here. I'm gonna try adjusting that and see if I can squeeze a little bit more life out of this thing without having to rejuve it. But uh, there's that. Sadly, my uh, CRT tester, um, credits to a friend who uh, sold me it, um, does not have any um, connectors that will fit uh, the TV. So I am going to be limited to whatever I can get the TV to want to do. Um, so I'm going to put it back together. I've already got power reapplied. <laughs> well, let's be smart about working on this, right? Have power live on the board at places. And uh, I'm going to. Uh, how are the set on? I'm gonna, uh, come on. The antenna is uh, getting the twin lead capacitively shorted, if you will. So it's not liking that. Whatever. No, this thing doesn't like me. Sorry. There. And I am going to uh, tweak the uh, screen control, which is that right there. So, 
Let's see if I can try to focus this. And hopefully I can get some more brightness. Uh, no, that's the wrong way. And I think that is better. I accidentally uh, knocked the camera off, but uh, I think I am going to uh, see if I can't get it a little bit more um, than what it is already. Cam the camera makes it look better than it is. It is fairly bright, but um, the brightness control is still maxed out. And I'd say it looks a lot better. Um, I really can't tell if it still has that greenish hue thing going on. I might actually have to reduce the brightness for the, for the sake of the camera being able to pick this up. But uh, I think it's better to a certain extent. I'll have to probably adjust the uh, drive control and up the blue and uh, red because it doesn't have a green one to try to uh, improve that a little bit. This thing is really driving me crazy. Usually this antenna is wonderful. Um, it's just because uh, the wires are draping themselves across metal pieces and that is ruining the signal because this is a, an entire twin lead arrangement here. I don't have any uh, coax here, so it easily shorts itself. But um, I'd say this is a uh, dramatic improvement uh, from what it is. So um, I think this concludes uh, the video. Oh, and I might as well show the uh, back of the TV so that you can actually see the uh, model tag. I had to rewrite it myself, uh, the um, manufacturing date, because that was just a piece of paper stuck on there, and I completely took the back panel off this TV at one point and washed it. Of course, you have your warranty and your, and your warning labels, and it's UL listed, and well, oh, and it also has a, uh, a nice carry handle built into the top of the TV, and that folds up. Um, overall, it's a pretty good set for, for all it's been through. When I got it, it was kind of interesting. Um, the TV, I bought it at a yard sale. I think it was maybe 9 or 10. And um, what ended up happening with it was that I tested it at the yard sale. And the TV only had a raster at like very left edge of it. There's only a slight bit of snow you could see. And so I, I ended up getting a price reduction based on that. Of course, at that point, I knew absolutely nothing about electronics. But uh, so when I brought it home, I turned the TV on, kind of stared at it for a little bit. And um, I let it sit there for a little longer. And I noticed that the, that the area was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until... You know, after a while, it had nearly filled the whole screen, and then it eventually did fill the whole screen. Um, I'm going to guess that the TV hadn't been powered on for a very, very long time prior to that. And what I was experiencing <laughs> was a few capacitors reforming, um, which I find uh, fairly... Uh, Amazing that they were that far out of spec and eventually filled the whole screen. It's been fine ever since and I mean this thing is way too new to, to even consider a complete full recap. That would be completely ridiculous, but uh, Well, there's my 1981 gold star and a minor repair to it um, It's far brighter than it ever was before um, But yeah Excuse all the stupid digital crap, but uh, more to come later.